video that the stove pipe was supposed to be delivered yesterday well they changed that and they moved it up another day but or day before yesterday well, I got it yesterday so I came home after work started on the stove pipe and uh, got the hole in the wall uh, I got the thimble in and got rained out lost daylight I don't have a whole lot of time after work to uh, work on stuff in the evening but uh, I got home this evening after work got the rest of the stove pipe up had to make a run to the big box store to grab some caulking and uh, when we get home I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys in the house and I brought you guys along from the beginning we're going to do the first light of our wood-fired off-grid hot water tank so this is pretty exciting we just got I just got the pipe up maybe 15 20 minutes ago uh, we're really excited about this so we're gonna label this one uh, wood-fired hot water tank instead of a build of the house day um, we're really excited for those of you that haven't been with us before and are just tuning in my wife Angie and I we are going off-grid and we well as much as possible off-grid and uh, we're building a tiny house all at the same time so we've got a new construction uh, all new things going into it off the grid things uh, we run the whole house 100% off of solar now uh, which will have uh, we've had that in the past few videos so if you haven't got to check that out make sure you go back check out some of our old videos and hit that like and subscribe and tap that little bell that way when our new videos comes out you'll be notified so I'm gonna take you home here and we'll show you that first light see we got solar lights in here for our solar setup and we'll cheat for this very first fire I don't have any real proper kindling I just got a couple sticks outside but I got some charcoal so we're gonna throw some charcoal in this bad boy for the first light Then I've got some bigger pieces over here that we can put in once it gets started.
something to light off in here. So that warm up a little bit. Well, guys, it's only been about 10, 15 minutes or so. And the water's already starting to get warm. This is not a cold metal tank anymore. Got a nice little glow in there. Oh, look at that. How exciting is this? Wood fired hot water heater. Got a good seal on the door. Let's see if we can move this back down here. does have a nice seal around the door this will be pretty efficient you guys did a real good job fabricating this I want to give a shout out to Alan and Stephanie Kent Kent's are the owners of Kent welding here in Parkersburg West Virginia they're the ones that fabricated this wood fired hot water tank for us did a wonderful job. I'll let that get warmed up there. So thank you guys for all your hard work making this possible. If you guys got any questions about this hot water tank and how it's put together check out that last video that we had on it hopefully we'll be able to answer those questions for you if not leave a comment let me know we'll turn this shower on here a little bit see if we get some steamy hot water the boss in action
inspecting, inspecting my work. Taking a photo <laughs> for Facebook. <laughs> We're about uh, 25 minutes in, guys, and we have got a nice little fire going in here. Wonderful, really. Let's turn some heat on here, see if we get some hot water. Get out of the way while I make my Facebook post. Instant heat, guys. Instant heat. I mean, it's hot enough you can't hardly touch it. Hey, get out of the way so I can take a picture of the shower. Oh, sorry. I don't know if you can see it. We got steam rolling out of there. I can't go through. Uh, we're going to go get us a shower curtain and a curtain rod and as hot as that water is I'm going to go ahead and shut this thing up and then turn her down because it don't need to be any hotter than that that's plenty hot well that doesn't take much guys it does not take much at all it scares me to death though because I'm afraid it's going to come crashing down to the floor. Because look at all that's holding it up is this one little leg. It's braced to the wall. It's attached to this wall and the main wall of the house on the other three corners. So it's okay, guys. But I'm scared to death. It's going to come crashing down and go through the floor. This is a city girl. It has nothing to do with it. That never grew up with anything wood. That has nothing to do with it. This weighs 50 million pounds and he's got it levitating. In midair on a piece of wood. Alright, how many of you are, or how many of you grew up in a house or in a garage that had an old sheet metal box welded together with a black stove pipe coming out of it shoved through a wall? What's that got to do with this being levitating in the air? This is, this is well crafted. It's heavy. And it's, look, it's only on a, a leg. It's only heavy to you because it weighs three times more than you do. But it's only on a leg and it's up in the air. It's on two walls and a leg. This scares me. It'll be fine. She asked how I got it up there. Well, real men just grab a hold of stuff, pick it up, and set it on there, right? I can't even pick up one end of it by myself. Remnants of the hole in the wall for the outside. I had to do that while she wasn't home. Is that all the bigger the hole is? No, that's for the stovepipe. The mm. thimble is a 14 inch in diameter hole. Which, if I had some more light, guys, I'd take you back here and show you. Uh, actually, can you turn your phone flashlight on? We'll take them back behind the hot water tank. Show them that. Okay, she's got her light on. We can go take a look back behind the hot water tank, and it's hot. Let's see your thing. I'll hold it over here. So back here, we have our thimble, which is going through the wall, and I run it clear up to the back of the hot water tank. Thimble was for a two by six wall, or a two by four. And as you can see, Plenty of room for my drain, in case I ever need to drain it. There's a ball valve back in there somewhere. Yep, there it is. And we just cut a 14 inch in diameter hole right through the wall, put the thimble in. And we're using rock wool insulation, which is a fire retardant insulation. Here's your phone back, darling. And this rock wool, some pretty nice stuff. It's real easy to put in. If you guys have never done this, it's got an R19 uh, value in it. And it does come in these. Uh, this is a cutoff section that 
I was trimming with. Let's see. This is the right way. It comes in these two by four sections and they fit just perfectly in the wall. I mean, it just takes seconds and you can have a whole stud done. So if you guys ever get into some hanging some insulation, this rock wool is some great stuff. Great stuff. R15 value, sorry. The regular pink fiberglass stuff, which I have is an R13. This stuff's an R15. Good stuff, easy to put together. Also, you got a sea light in this house. We do have some solar lights, which we've just kind of got them ran here, there, and yonder. But this solar setup that I keep you guys in touch with the voltage, uh, it comes with these plug-ins and these lights. And for the past five days, I have been using nothing but solar to build the rest of this house. We've got regular outlets uh, wired in to our power inverter. I showed you the gang boxes earlier. We got those in. All these are hooked right up to our power inverter. And we can use these little lights to work with. They're pretty great. But I wanted to show you that while I was thinking about it because we told you guys we were going off grid, which we are as much as possible. These are just part of the nice little things that come with the solar package that we got. And if you got any questions about that, let us know. Leave us a comment. We'll be able to hopefully answer those for you also. <coughs> Bless you. Well, anyway, guys, we put in a long night tonight. A lot of hours, as you can see. It's dark outside. I've already worked my eight hour day and uh, what what time is it? I don't know. Is it nine o'clock after by now? It's nine thirty eight. Oh, it's nine thirty eight. So we're putting in a lot of hours here, guys. A lot of time. We're glad that you stopped by and are hanging in there with us. Uh, we hope that you like and subscribe. Share this with your friends. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments. Let us know. Hit that thumbs up button. And hi, Christy and Andrew. I know you're watching. <laughs> yep. Hi, guys. Like I said, we want to send out a special thanks to Kent Welding in Parkersburg, West Virginia. We love you guys. Alan, Stephanie, y'all ever need anything, all you got to do is call me. And uh, thank you for the hot water tank. We greatly appreciate it. Are we done? I'm tired. Uh... I'm tired, too. I was tired yesterday. I need to be retired. Tired yesterday, tired today. We're going to bed, folks. Y'all have a good night. Bye. Bye, everybody.